my most awesome subscriber, Ginger Horse Diva, hi, um, asked me what would I want to name my service dog. Good morning, world. Good morning, internet friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Anxiety when sleep is not your friend. We've been adding on to the list all day today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. Sorry if the video looks a little bit fuzzy this morning. I am clearly outside. And you can tell that it's summer in Georgia because it's humid. As soon as I came outside, my glasses immediately fogged up and so did the camera lens and I think it's still doing it again. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Lovely. So you guys are going to see a film of fog and I'm sorry. So yeah, right now I'm just kind of chilling out by the lake and the dogs are out running around getting some energy out of their systems. And yeah, that's about how the morning's going right now. So I just want to give you guys a quick check in and say good morning. And I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys. Hi, Riddler. Hi, Sisters. So before I get a shower, there is a comment that I got yesterday that instead of just replying to it on YouTube like I normally do, does this lose hair? No, it's not. Um, I thought I would explain it to you in the vlog because there is a story behind it. Um, my most awesome subscriber, Ginger Horse Diva, hi, um, asked me what would I want to name my service dog? And there's actually a story behind it, so that's why instead of replying to it on YouTube like I normally do, I'm going to make a vlog for it. The name I'm wanting to give the dog, if I have the option to do that, is Emerald. If it's a girl, Emerald. If it's a boy, Emerald. Because I want it to be Emerald, D, Emerald, huh. But the reason why Emerald is that one of my best friends, her name is Caitlin, and she is wonderful. And if you're watching this, Caitlin, hi! Um, she and I had a discussion about service dogs. I talked to her a lot about anxiety and service dogs, and we bond over that. We bond over the fact that both of our brothers have Asperger's Syndrome, and just, yeah, we're bonding. <laughs> um, I don't remember everything about the conversation, because as you guys know, my memory sucks. But, um... She was saying that like my search for a service dog is like finding a gemstone. They're like, I know where to find it, but I just got to chip away at the rocks, polish the gem, and I will find it. So since it happened to be around my birthday when we had this conversation, because my birthday is May 19th, and the birthstone for May is the emerald. So I joked to her saying, oh yeah, so my service dog is an emerald. And then she went off like, yes, that would be awesome. Name the dog Emerald. And then the nickname could be Emmy and it'd be so cute. And so I really liked that idea because the name has a very personal meaning. So Emerald as a girl, and if it's a boy, Emerald D. Huey. So D would be the middle name for Emerald. But it's kind of funny because Emerald makes me think of the chef that used to exist on Food Network, and he'd just go, bam, bam. I don't know why he would do that. Bam. He would do that when he throws spices into pans or whatever, but hey, whatever. Um, I was, I've also considered names like Nishi. Um, because I'm a nerd for Haikyuu and Nishinoya, so <laughs> Nishi, or Anubis, if it's a black one. And that's because I was listening to a song called Anubis, and it made me think of, like, since I have studied up so much on greyhounds, it's almost ridiculous, um, how, like, ancient Egyptians worshipped greyhounds. And the god Anubis is a black greyhound. So I've also thought of the name Anubis, but number one choice is definitely Emerald or Emerald. So, yeah, there is the answer to your question. Hey guys! So, as you can see, I sort of got ready a little bit. Threw on a bra and I put on real pants. Can you see it? There's my real pants. Because my brother and I are going to be going to Taco Bell and get dinner because we're hungry. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys that I'm so excited because I have finally, after like, being in just like this cosplay rut for months now, have gotten the inspiration to work on Vaporeon, which I will as soon as I get food because I'm starving. Um, Belly Dancer Vaporeon is my next cosplay that I want to do. Vaporeon is my number one favorite evolution with Umbreon being a close second because that was my first costume. 
and I still need to work on the headpiece that has the fins and then I want to make like a choli type thing to be the collar and it just has me so excited I'm glad that I'm getting the inspiration back again because being in this kind of rut has really been bothering me because partially it's the feeling like I need to do things for other people but partially it's because I love doing cosplay that's one of my favorite things and it was really upsetting me that I felt no motivation to do cosplay or to make new ones because you guys know I've done Asahi and Rin but I wanted to do more than just Asahi and Rin and I just was not inspired to and it bothered me so much but now I've got the inspiration and I'm so happy yay but yeah otherwise it's been kind of a chill evening I just wanted to give you guys a quick check-in and let you know about my inspiration and I'll check back in with you later hey guys so I have I've been working on the Vaporeon fins for about 30 minutes and now I'm gonna stop for the night but let me show you the product so far come here this is one of three fins as you see it's basically what it is is foam board and then it has this cool gold sequiny fabric hot glued over it and then the rays are actually the ends of the gold fabric so it's curved on the end because it's gonna be hot glued to a headband so I'm gonna have one like that one like this and one like that so yeah that's what I've got going so far can I help you sir apparently Riddler is very intent on the computer are you wanting to work do you want to work for me you do great so now I'm going to work on the work in progress video for close enough cosplay and finally have a video for it this week and I will check back in with you later hey guys so I have just now finished Close Enough Cosplay's video and I'm waiting for it to save into the computer. So yay! I have videos for this week. Since last week I did not. Just because I was tired. But, oh well. Things happen. So, yeah. What are we doing, doggies? Say, so Mom got me a new toy and I am having fun destroying the tennis ball. And this one's sleeping. Sassy! No. Damn, I'm in deep sleep. But yeah. Now's the time where I sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... Do you like doing arts and crafts? I like it when it's cosplay related. Just put your answer down below and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye!